Hey guys, so I am at Microsoft right now and they just announced something so incredible that's basically gonna change the way that we search the internet. Now, search has been the same for like the past 20 plus years for basically as long as I can remember, which is actually quite a long time. I know, I don't wanna talk about it. I have been obsessed with AI, not only AI technology, but AI photos, AI video. I'm sure everyone has heard about ChatGBT, of course, people using it to write research papers and whatever else. I've actually been using ChatGBT to write little stories that go along with AI images that I created. So I made this little AI Instagram account. Unfortunately, AI Justine was, was taken, ironically. I don't know, I'm very sad about it. So it's I Justine AI. So I will go in, I'll use Mid Journey to make the images and then ChatGBT to actually write the text. But the thing that upsets me about ChatGBT and I think there's a big misconception with ChatGBT is everything that it says is true. It is the truth. And that's, I think, gonna be something that is a, a bigger conversation. So basically, what it's doing is that it's giving you a conversational feel, but a lot of the data that is in there is from like 2021, so it's not updated. So what Bing and Microsoft has been doing is really, really game changing because it's kind of taking that conversational model and putting it into search, like right alongside of it. They also have it built directly into the Edge browser. So right up here, you'll see when you click that, like this just opens right up, like you could chat can compose and it also gives you some insights. But I wanna give you guys a little demo of how this works and how game-changing this is for search, for finding information, and basically just saving us a ton of time. So I recently have been getting into snowboarding, haven't snowboarded, know nothing, so I'm gonna use this to teach me everything I need to know about snowboarding and maybe even plan a trip. What do I need to know about snowboarding? You'll see here, over on this right hand section. This is where it's populating all of the search results into kind of like bite sized researched information. So it's giving you a more conversational look at like what this content is. And I love these little annotations right here because this will let you go and actually find the resources where they're getting this information. So you can continue to, you know, do your own research, which is something that I feel like everyone should do. But with ChatGBT, you're not getting any resources. You're not getting any links. And a lot of times I have had it write me scripts and then I went and fact checked. I'm like half the things that this is saying, like where are you getting this information? So with this, it shows you exactly where you're able to get the information. And up here, you can like or dislike and that will trigger to Microsoft and Bing like this was either factual or it wasn't. So definitely use that if it is helpful. So we're in here, we've got all the information and on the left, like that's what a traditional search looks like. But when we click this, we go into the chat, this pulls that entire little conversational chat that was on the right hand side. And we can continue to break this search down into smaller kind of bite sized chunks of things. So this entire thing, is all kind of paired together. So let's see, where should I go to snowboard as a beginner? Also, I spelled beginner wrong, so <laughs> thankfully it understands typos. Now this is pulling all of these search results from all over the web. The annotations are still there, so you can click in. This will pop open a link to where it's getting that information from, so you can continue to read the full articles. So now that I've learned everything that I need to know about snowboarding, uh, I gotta go on a trip. Where Where is the best place to go for beginners? You can see I didn't say snowboarding. It's just gonna know because that's what we're talking about. So it's now populated all the places to go. Let's have this write me an email to my friends and tell them we are going here on a trip. Sure, I can write you an email to your friends to come on the trip. Here's a possible email you can... <gasps> It even gave me the subject, snowboard weekend trip. So the trip apparently is gonna be February 17th uh, to the 19th. We're gonna be going to like Tahoe. It has amazing snow, stunning views. This is too long. This is, we're gonna make it shorter because like I can't even read this whole email. It's way too long. If I can't read it, my friends aren't gonna read it. Oh my God, it's even giving me cost. The trip is gonna cost 500 per person. They need to let me know by February 13th if they can go. Now let's hop over to the Bing integration with Edge and check this out. I would like to compare the different types of jujitsu practiced currently. We're gonna have it be casual, generate. This is great, yeah, well, look at this. It's just populating right here. Why I like this is because you can choose the type of formats. You can have it be a paragraph, email, you can do a blog post or an ideas. So let's make this into a blog post. So you can see this gives you a title, Jiu Jitsu 101, a comparison of different styles. 
So this gives you a completely different rewrite of that text that you just saw. One of the things that I liked with ChatGPT when I was kind of writing my little stories is sometimes I didn't like the stories that it came up with, so I would do just a complete refresh. So you can regenerate an entire draft to get a different version of that. So one other example that I thought was so cool is they showed how to like plan like a meal plan for the week. I'm gonna say plan me two days of meals of high protein. Day one, I'm gonna be having breakfast, uh, spinach and egg, pizza. Snacks, Greek yogurt, okay, this is cool. Okay, let's go into the chat now. What's cool is I can have this write me things, like you can have it write you poems. So for example, for like one of my AI images, I would have it write me a story about a little pig that lives in a big world who is afraid of pants. Makes no sense at all, but it takes that prompt and is going to write me a story. <laughs> it's called The Little Pig Who Was Afraid of Pants. There once was a little pig who lived in a big world. He had a loving family, a cozy home, and many friends, but he had one big problem. He was afraid of pants. This is definitely gonna be the story for today's Instagram AI. So one of the things that I really like is comparing products because obviously I do a ton of tech reviews and then for you guys as a consumer, this is so helpful. So I'm gonna search to compare the best cameras of 2023 in a table. So as you can see, this is all populating here. We've got the camera, sensor, resolution, viewfinder, price. Like this is gonna save people so much time. Like I can't even believe that the future is here and we are future searching now. This was so much fun to get a chance to check out. Like I love AI and the future of what this means for us. Like if this can make us take everyday mundane activities and make them way more easier, like we can save so much time. This is gonna be available to everyone in a few upcoming weeks, but you can now sign up if you'd like to get on the wait list. If you guys haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below. I would love to hear what you guys think of this and what do you think of AI in general? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.